So this is an interesting question that I got emailed to me last night, and they're a little bit confused about what method they should use. Now there's actually two different ways to solve it, and I want to work the two different methods side by side, because the methods are equally valid, um, but you have to choose one, otherwise you're going to sort of end up in a bit of a mess. So the question says that 64% of people uh, approve of the removal of plastic bags. So we can interpret that as two different things. We can interpret it as the population proportion being equal to 0.64, or we could interpret it as the probability of success, if success is called choosing a person who supports plastic bag removal, is uh, 0.64, both equally valid. Now we're using a normal approximation to a binomial, which means that we're going to end up with a normal curve, and it doesn't matter whether I'm here or here. Now what is going to change depending on my method is the mean. Now the mean on this side, I'm going to be talking about the mean proportion. And the mean proportion is just 0.64. That is, if you took a bunch of samples from this population, you would expect in the long run that uh, it would be 0.64. Now, the mean proportion in this one is slightly different. We're taking um, a sample of 100 people. And so instead of a mean percentage or a mean proportion, I'm going to take the mean number of people. And the mean number of people is going to be equal to n, the number of people we choose, times the probability of success, which is 100, times 0 0.64, which is 64. And you can see this is where we diverge, because here the mean is the proportion, here the mean is the actual number of people. And now when you're dealing with normal approximations, the mean is only half the story. You also need to know what the standard deviation is. And the standard deviation is going to be different here, compared to here. So my standard deviation here is going to be the standard deviation of a sample proportion. And that's going to be the square root of uh, p, q over n. Uh, and that's going to be the square root of 0 0.64 times 0 0.36 divided by the number of people we're choosing, which is 100. All right, and that's going to be some number, 0 0.048. And so that standard deviation tells us that one standard deviation away from here is going to be um, 0 0.64 plus 0 0.048, and then two standard deviations, we add two lots of that, and then three standard deviations, and the same here. So you can see it's going to stretch between like, well, 99% of the population, or the proportions, is going to split between like 0 0.82 and like 0 0.5 something. Okay. Now over here, our standard deviation is different because we're not trying to find the standard deviation of um, a sample proportion. We're trying to find the standard deviation of a binomial approximation to a normal. Okay, so the actual number of people. And that's going to be equal to the square root of the variance, which is NPQ, or NP times 1 minus P. So again, the numbers are all the same. Uh, 100 people probability of success is 0 0.64 times the probability of failure, 0 0.36. But this is going to spit out a very different number to this. In this case, 4.8. All right, you can see they bear some resemblance. That's kind of a coincidence. If that number wasn't 100, if it was like 250, they would start to look very different. Now that 4.8 means that uh, our standard deviation here is like 68.8, and then another 4.8, and then another 4.8. And that's one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three, one, two, three. And these percentage standard deviations line up with these um, actual people standard deviations. 68.4 will line up with this, which will be like uh, 0.684. Okay, uh, so you can see we're heading in similar directions here. Now we're trying to find the probability that more than 70% of uh, people um, approve of this, approve of removing the bags. Now in this one, it's relatively easy, right? So uh, we're trying to find the probability that the proportion uh, is greater than uh, 0 0.70. In other words, we're trying to find that area right there. Okay, in this one, it's just slightly more complicated 
because we need to know what that percentage is, right? So we need to know what 70% of 100 is. And we can do that because I'm using a simple number, it's easy, we know that it's 70. But if it was a slightly more complicated number, we might have to do a little bit of a, a calculation. 70% of people, 0 0.7 times 100, 70 people. So here I'm trying to find that area there. And they're going to be my probabilities. Now, this calculation here is the following. The probability that the sample proportion is greater than 0 0.7. And this is the probability that the random variable x is greater than 70. Uh, now, if I type this into my calculator. Go to stats mode. Go to distributions. Normal distributions. NCD. Now, our lower is uh, 0 0.7. Our upper is an incredibly large number. We just go right out there into space. Our standard deviation here is going to be 0 0.048. And our mean is going to be 0 0.64. And we can look at this, we can draw it, and we can see that our probability is 0 0.1056. We get uh, 0 0.1056. And if I type that into my calculator we and get we're doing our alternative method uh, our lower of 70 and upper of an incredibly large number standard deviation this time of 4.8 and a mean of uh, 64 and we can now draw that and lo and behold same answer 0 0.1056 all right and so now you can see that that question probably uh, wanted you to use this kind of method and particularly this standard deviation formula, you could also use this and you would get exactly the same answer even though you're using a different normal distribution. All right, so uh, two different options, um, they both work.